and we're going to do some of this today. Negro spirituals are only on black keys. Did you know that? Yeah. I did not know that. And Cecil found this, and I thought, this is really weird. He, and he shows that this, these five notes, all it's called a pentatonic scale. Okay, now I knew that, but I knew it on the white notes. It never occurred to me that they were the black notes. So pentatonic scale, and the Negro spirituals based all of their songs on five notes. Huh. Now, listen to this. First, second, third. So he played this. Costco, $8.99 for the Susan Boyle. $8.99? $8.99, I bought it the other day. $11 on to download it at Costco. 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 All right, so with a DVD, CD player on it, you can actually play this in the organ. I also found out that if you have a CD player that has an audio connection, you can plug it into the audio of the organ and use the speakers of the organ. Okay, this is a USB DVD, so um, it's plugged into the USB. Now, on the 900, you can actually transpose the CD, which blows my mind. Because you can, if you don't like the key that it's in, normally there was nothing you could do about it. But this organ transposes it so you can, if it's in the key of F and you want it to be in the key of C, it'll transpose it for you. The CD, which I don't know how they do that, but they do. So, all you do is you go to record, play, and it says Bima Tune. See right here? And see the little, see the little um, file cabinet down there? Oh, yeah. Listen to that. You know, I don't know when you listen to music. I listen to music through an organist ears. I'm sitting there going, this organ has a gospel choir on it. I could use that. Did you notice how simple it was? Her whole CD yesterday, Greg and I pretty much sat and tried to play with all the songs. Almost every song she sings is three chords. They're, she just took the simplest, prettiest melodies and just kept it. Now, Andre Bocelli's, his is another story. But hers are in easy keys and just very simple. She didn't do anything fancy. She just sang the song, which simple, I think, sometimes. 
is the most beautiful. All right, so what we're gonna do today is talk about, do you ever try to play along with a CD? Now, it doesn't matter if you have a 900, you have a CD player, right? Or a boom box or something that plays a CD. So take, just if you get her CD, this is the best one, I think, to try this with. Because I'm gonna play along with this one. Greg's gonna do her version of Amazing Grace, which will make you cry. It is, it is just an incredible version. And I like to listen to her sing. When I watch her, I'm distracted. It sounds like a, if you just didn't know what she looked like, it sounds like a young woman yeah. Uh, singing. Yeah. It's hard to picture. Her voice is just... So young. And no training. No training. She never went to voice class. Nothing. Mm -hmm. That is a gift. I mean, God just gave her a total gift. Her mother knew it, but she didn't realize it until she's in her 50s. Okay. So if you look at the paper I gave you, the song... Uh, on the CD is in the key of F. Now yesterday, Greg and I had some fun because he's an ear player and I'm not. So it didn't take Greg long to figure out what notes to play. But it took him longer to figure out what key it was in. Okay, so we put our heads together between what he knew and what I knew, it turned out to be what's on this paper. Because I have to use logic. I cannot play by ear. I can pick out a melody once I find the notes. But if someone says to me, what key is that in? I can't tell you. So yesterday, we're playing this song. And, and there's some things you got to do if you play along with a CD. All right? Or someone may come to your house this month and say, let's sing. Does anybody do that? Yeah. Going. No. Well, if they do, and you decide to play Silent Night, and the music you have is in the key of C, and they go, oh, I can't sing that. It's too high or too low. Well, you could just push a transpose button, right? But if you don't have an instrument with a transpose button, you need to transpose. And I'm telling you, it's fun. If you've never done it, it is such a cool feeling when you, when you see the song in one key, and all of a sudden you sit down and with some logic, you literally can play it in another key. Now, writing it is not a problem. Transposing in written form is easy. And I wrote it on this paper for you. It's called transposing. Watch how simple it is. If you take a song, and I learned this years ago from, uh, I don't remember who, but I'll tell you what, this was the, the most event-changing one of the days that I remember in my music, things that I've learned. Because for years, the word transpose scared me. I, just, <gasps> I played in church and they'd say, the, the solos would come with a, <coughs> a cold. Can you uh, raise this up a couple of, or lower it a couple of steps? It was Christmas Eve and she was singing the Lord's Prayer. So I'd say, yeah, I can, and I, but I didn't. She normally couldn't tell. <laughs> they always thought I was great. I said, sure, I could do that. And just played it in the regular key, and they never knew anyway. Because by the time they sang it, they were usually warmed up. Yeah, right. I'm probably going to go to hell for lying, but that's not. In church. In church. <laughs> okay.